All right, well, let's continue. Thousand Year Door. Oh, already getting into battles. I thought that thing was dead. <laughs> Okay, we need to grind. Oh, look at that stylish! <laughs> right away. Come on, style points. Oh yeah, I have the ability to... hang on. Did nothing. What is that rock? I'm concerned. Uh oh. Ah! Ooh. Hammer! Against this. What have I got? I mean, Gumbel is not really going to help here. I doubt that's going to work either. Defend. Was not worth 6 XP. <laughs> Given what I just. Okay, it did heal me. That's fine. Alright, we're heading this way. <laughs> On to the next area. Cracks that I haven't been able to uh, break. She's really useful. I need to talk to that NPC as well that tells me how to do the multi bonk. I just, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it gives me coins, but... Oh, hold on. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, there was somewhere in the castle that had a flap on the ground, but... Uh, can I be bothered? <laughs> I don't know if I can be bothered. It's not like I'm trying to 100% this. It's not gonna be a thing. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time.
Where are we going next? Oh. I was not expecting that. In the sky. Oh, mercy me, the next crystal star has made an entrance, my, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door's been sealed shut for thousands of years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? No, that's not. Hmm, that's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make a... Well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, family, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fight, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bounce. A floating city, you say? Are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Mm, I, I don't know. But I guess we don't have much of a choice. Well, out on the street is all the tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rokeport's main square, and you'll reach the side of the town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the Pianta Syndicate head, and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a Syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Hooktail. Oh, there you go. I didn't use Tattle on Hooktail. That's good. I guess there's a way to get it. Mini Ox. Oh. There you go. Mini Ox. Coopley has life. Mario, Coops. How are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure coops. Where are you headed next? I want to see... I want you to see the wide world. Son, it'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much, else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. Ha 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 ha, from Coopley. I mean, I don't know how Coops is going to go on knowing that, you know, his father, the way he got caught was because he was into feet. Now, that's not me trying to be funny. That's, like, what happened. <laughs> well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. 
It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear about what happened? It's a long story. Rumple Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship dropped on the pudding continent, I set out on the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in one this, this uh, and found me in this town. Jeez, I can't read. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they called him the White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue. Jeez, I can't read. <laughs> that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west, to Plump Valley Village on Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rock Park to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Wanna hear about something else? No. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Me and my terrible Luigi voice. Hi, uh, hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. A mustache badge. Uh, hello, Mario. Still working hard? Frankly here in e-form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with First Strike instead of falling bowling out. The badge shop in Rogueport has it available. You can get there by exiting on the second floor. Okay, I mean, that's, that's good advice. When enemies get weak enough, it, it's, it's good. I remember, because I played the Wii Paper Mario, it had that. How many shines do I have? I have five. Okay, we can upgrade someone. Oops, you're up next. Shazibi! Sazubi! Can't to power up more? No. I don't have it. Right, I keep forgetting. The spin! What is that?
Well, this is what I saw more of, but I guess it's not her. Oh, no, it is. There you go. Ground pound. the same thing. I'll stay. I'll save the coupon. Best attack, that's the one. Check the cardboard on the ro okay. You need zero BP to wear this. Oh. This is free. What is this? Oh there you go. Drop Mario's attack by one, but regain flower points when attacking. Interesting. Deliver damage that ignores an enemy's defense. That seems like that's going to be um, useful. I'm not sure I have... Okay, well, we can do that. But as long as I first strike, it'll just one-shot. That's good. Alright, we go to the seedy underbelly of Rogueport West. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny and I'll toss you like that. Oh no, not the Chuckster. Please, anything but the Chuckster. The first time I played Mario Sunshine, oh my god, those, those stages where they throw you. Let me in! Thankfully, there is no footage for that. Well, okay, maybe there is, but I think it's only through clips. It must have been thrown, like, I think 30 times <laughs> before I got through to it. I should replay it. No, I've played it twice. I think that's, that's good enough. I would rather go play Odyssey, not Odyssey, um, Galaxy 2, because I haven't played that. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen many a dramatic encounters, as there are stars in space. I the thought of it all. I just love it. The thing is, that game, I don't know. There are, there are bits of it that I like, but then... I feel like they rushed it, like, the, the part where you have to collect blue coins and things, I don't know. There are some stages that are just genuinely infuriating, and there are some stages that I really enjoy. 
This is the Excess Express, bound for luxurious partially heights. Passengers must present the tickets aboard. Okay, I don't have a ticket. I tell you, I like just standing here, gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I was to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it, it's better. But if I could afford a ticket, I might ride it once. I thought that was the shady dude. This flight goes to Glitzville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. Okay. Well, I know where the train is. Now I just gotta get in with the dawn. Family is worried about gambling problem. Hmm. Okay. Hey, how you holding up? What's that you say? You're looking for Don Pianta, the person who runs this place? Well, if you want to learn about the criminal underworld of Rogueport, find Ishnail in the east part of town. Okay. Wasn't I just there? Melon, who's Ishnail? Infamous, the infamous infamous. I know things, things worth knowing. If someone's trouble is giving you trouble, I'll share my info, but it'll cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. You haven't taken on anyone's trouble, so my info won't be much use to you. This is your first time to the trouble center. Let me explain how the service works. This is the trouble center where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, I'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Well, you'll choose someone. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you'll have to pay to cancel. Got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. They call me Garf. I've lost my key and thus I cannot get into my house. it will be somewhere in Rogueport. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back of East Road Port. Interesting. Go ahead and do it right. Oh, this is the key. What is this? Wait, is there a way to have a work desktop to get a laptop without ID doing it? I don't know what the question I don't know what the question is. 
I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. Odyssey product right there, looking for though. Yeah, I have no idea, sorry. Ishmael. I feel like I've heard that name. Isn't he in the isn't he in the underground? He's a guy in the underground. But why is it telling me to go east? Or is he back here? Hang on. I'm terrible with names. Also been a few days. <laughs> so this is the problem with not playing a game for a few days. Well I guess since I'm here. Chill out. Never succumb to a first strike. Doing battle enemies will sometimes miss. I mean, the regen one's pretty good. I think anything to do with passive regen. Pretty good. Stars. All right, what is it? I see your destined path, the road course east side to the left of the trouble center. You turn sideways to enter a small crack between two buildings. You enter a house. Yeah, that very specific. Giving him his fill gets you what you desire. Okay, remember no mistakes. Remember no mistakes, then the way opens. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember things. Good. Have I got anything fun this weekend? Nope. Just cleaning. Can't cleaning is fun. I don't know if I've reached that point in adulthood where I can be like, Oh, but cleaning is fun if you make it a game. Or whatever stuff my parents used to say. To be fair, I don't think they ever said make it a game, but... I 
see. I would not have gotten this. But now that I know you can do this, I'm going to be looking at for this more. Hey, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under the town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology, and now I'm an amazing thief. Ha ha ha. There's a shine over there, but I guess I need a new power. Okay, hold. Oh, there we go, there's another one. Want something to jump? This is the fortress of the robo thieves. You lost? What brings us. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it. Ain't vacation. Well, that. You wanna meet that lion, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt. Never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all of that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the break. You'll pay? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears out and listen here. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of town, buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial, you got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what's your favorite color, you answer yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh so comfy office. Got all that? Say it again. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of town, buy a dried mushroom and then a dizzy dial. Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you for your favorite color, answer yellow. That's the password for getting into Don Scumbag's also comfy office. When you get to the door, you tell them Dave sent you, okay? You get one dollar off entry. You take that dollar, you buy yourself a drink, and then you have yourself a good night, all right. I have been getting more of those texts. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, every Friday, without fail. Every Friday, without fail. The last one was interesting. Like, I don't, I don't know the demographic of this. So it was like $200 supermarket vouchers. That's what they were offering. Like, oh, you can win $200 in supermarket vouchers. And then there was another one that was $50 in fuel vouchers. I don't think I have the money. This might be a problem. I'm kind of broke. I have 13 coins, that's not enough for anything. $200 in food vouchers is a good one. Yeah, but it's for a club. What kind of demographic are they hitting? Like, I'm kind of afraid of the demographic where they're targeting mothers for Mother's Day. And then it's just like food vouchers as well. I don't know, man. I forgot to check this last time. 
There's two minutes to midnight. I should go just one. I should go to one? Well, no, but I wouldn't. Like, I'm not gonna go to one of those clubs by myself. And even if there was someone willing to go with me, it's just not my scene. Those, those days are long, long gone. Unless I, I was, I was in... Into like, you know, going and dating a club goer that goes to a club on Mother's Day. As a mother, I don't know. <laughs> But see, it's not like I can go there and it's free. It's a, you got to pay to get in. I'm not going to pay to get in. There's a line as well. Usually the line wraps around the venue. It's, it's, nah. Not for me. I'm, I'm past that life. I'm, I'm good. I can, ad I can admit. Oh, really? Well, I'm just generalizing from, like, you know, the experiences I had once upon a time when I did have a group of friends that like to do that. Oh, one fourth price, cool. Yeah, so... Yeah, uh, I... What am I going to gain? <laughs> I'd just be talking crap about, um, people. I need- I, I literally need one more coin. <laughs> one- one coin short. Let me go kill a cockroach. The food at bars is good. It's not a bar, it's a club. Like, here we have pubs, and yeah, I can agree. The the bar, the pub food is good food. That's a different story. I would go to a pub. Because that, you walk in, you don't have to pay to get in. It's just... Sure, they have a bar. Well, they have a bar, but not all bars have food. At clubs, it's usually just... At least the ones I've been to, it's just loud, and they just serve drinks and nothing else. There's no food. The ones that have food are more laid back. This sort of- this place, given what they're offering, <laughs> what they're offering, <laughs> and the kind of people they're targeting, I can't imagine it would be like a, yeah, sit down and eat, or sort of thing. No, it would be, there's a dance room, and then there's a bar, there's no seating at the bar or anything. It's just, walk up to the counter, get your drink, and then stand around. Maybe a couple of tables where people smoke, but other than that, not really. It's just where people go to listen to loud music. And probably do other things as well to make that experience um, better for them. Oh, you've got to be kidding. This is a bit of a flaw. Well, I need to sell two items. That's what I mean, there's nothing appealing about it. The reason people enjoy that sort of thing is just, that's... I don't know, man. 
they go there to pick up or hook up I guess or they want to do drugs <laughs> one or the other other than that oh well I guess if you want to hang out with friends sure but like there's there's a Venn diagram of that stuff and there's overlap It's basically the three reasons you go to one of those places. To go check out the crowd? I don't know. I, I can already picture the crowd. I don't need to go there. I guess if I'm buying another Dizzy Doll, I'll just sell the Dizzy Doll. Again, not to judge, like, if you enjoy that stuff, more power to you. I'm just saying, not for me. Do whatever pleases you in life. Didn't I sell the items? Like... I sold two items, right? Am I losing my mind? This is this is annoying. This is annoying me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Yes, remaster a game without changing how much storage the game had. Got to have an authentic experience where you can only hold ten items. I'm sure it's like fifteen, but you know. Come on, man. This is like a quality of life thing. Kids need to know the struggle. Problem is now. I have to do this. Let's just make sure. Okay, again, dried mushroom. And then dizzy doll. Shopkeeper didn't ask me anything. It was it was dried mushroom and dizzy dial, no? And then I get asked a question. It didn't happen, unless I went to the wrong store. Yeah. Way to follow instructions. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Buy a dried mushroom at the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west side of town. Buy a dried mushroom and then a Dizzy Doll. 
Do that in the shop, people. I didn't. Was there another shop? Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. I bought that. Nothing was asked. Not that one. It's like next to the pianta thing. This is the one! I bought a dried mushroom and a dizzy dial. Let's just please make sure we have room. I have room, okay. Dried mushroom. Then a dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah here we go, alright. What? What? I did this! <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Why didn't it do this before? Am I losing? I have to review the footage later. What, what happened? Because I bought other stuff? Oh, whatever. So he must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Mm, yeah, maybe because I... Ugh, inventory was full. Like, what was I supposed to do? Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you know that. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this gonna hurt. <laughs> Excuse me, you want you wanna you want me to give you a ticket to the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on the rail bus? Look at him. What a rube. You must be like pain, funny guy. You must like pain, funny guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Jeez, I can't read any more chat. <laughs> Brain broken. Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those the things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell ya, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? <laughs> it's easy, it's nothing, it's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter 
Elope with one of my young associates. <laughs> they vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. <laughs> you gotta find my daughter Francesca and this uh, Frankie and bring them both here. <laughs> if you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. <laughs> then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known with as an extreme prejudice. <laughs> Boss. We don't know anything about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> it's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. <laughs> I hope you dopes ain't making d complaints about my decision. You making complaints? <laughs> No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. <laughs> so it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. <laughs> Francesca and Frankie look like this. <laughs> and just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Alright. Off to find the daughter. Uh, you'll be sleeping with the fishes. I don't mean fucking them. I mean, literally at the bottom of the ocean, just to be crystal clear. Cement shoes. Well... I guess we gotta find where they are, huh? So if you were trying to elope... Oh yeah, hey! Investment! How's my investment? Oh, marry you. you can come again. My dream is to get rich quick. I'm gonna strike oil and strike it rich. Nothing. I gave him a hundred coins already. Okay, let's do this. Oh, here they are. Got him. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or are you just sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and to take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. <laughs> Doll face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk with the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? <laughs> Francesca, baby doll. If we can just calm like, talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Ah, oh, Frankie, my Frankie. Don't you love me? <laughs> of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. <laughs> then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. <laughs> but Banner Biscuit. They already found us out. We can't keep running forever. <laughs> we can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. <laughs> Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you to pretend that you never saw us. Can you do that? Aww. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Are we making a moral choice in a Paper Mario game? What should we do, Mario? We have to tell Don Pianta something. 
But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. Hey, Gammy. Alright. What are we gonna tell him? I should probably save just in case. This is like one of these things that can instantly kill me. <laughs> that again. I don't really have a plan for this. I'm curious. Who's come back? The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. <laughs> so give. What you got? You uh, know the whereabouts of these two runaways? <laughs> what? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? <laughs> you come waltzing in here and say that to me. To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. <laughs> Daddy, wait. <laughs> Francesca! <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. Uh, I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie! So you came back. Head hung low with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen, I, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, Boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet, both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up all your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where you go, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad? No, wait, I mean... Boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want... for nothing. <laughs> Enough already! Just go! Just... just go! Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. <laughs> you still here? Uh, fine. 
Well, you found my daughter and you got her to come back here. <laughs> and just look at how things turned out. What a complete, utter soap opera. <laughs> but hey, a deal's a deal. Here's your blimp ticket, like I said. <laughs> Who knew? That guy's got a smile in the ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. <laughs> hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on, get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to compartmentalize. And I'm gonna stop doing that voice. <laughs> it's... Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can go to Glitzville. It's about as bad as the turd voice. It, I can only do it for so long. this way. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. Then please watch your step as you board. Kind of disappointed. I thought there'd be a star piece hidden. How did that last time? There we go. Just very specific. Always got to check. Always got to check. This looks nice. Arrived at chapter three. I probably won't be able to complete the chapter tonight, but we'll see. We shall see. in the sky. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not Luigi's, oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen your face around here, and I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen, guy, if you want to see a match, head on inside. That's the Glitz Pit. <laughs> he 
see that hot dog stand over there? The best hot dog menu of all time, no joke. Oh. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. I want a hot dog. Oh wow, it's not a simple, like, just grab it. Where the World Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters. Three, usually. But here in Glitzville, we're the Rough and Tumble, Battling and Traveling Sisters. Three. This... Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. You come to this place. Right now, I am loopy with love for that ravishing creature over there. She's a sight to behold. And I saw her first. Oh, you- oh. Why did I not notice- <laughs> That fabulous mustache, I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario, that's definitely a name I've heard somewhere. Fancy hair. Hey there and welcome! Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So, grab a frosty juice, take a light up and enjoy! <laughs> Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rockhawk. No matter who's fighting him. Ah, uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? I'm just a lucky two who digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. There's a big button here. What is the button for? Power plus partner. That's decent. Okay. Hot dogs? I want a hot dog. A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glutzville's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins apiece. May I tempt you? I don't know why I'm doing that kind of voice. Ah, you don't seem to uh, uh, have the necessary resources to purchase a hot dog. How awkward. I actually don't have money. I'm broke. Make a hot dog? I don't have the resources to make a hot dog. Much like in the game. <laughs> I'll be fine. I don't really have many voices I can do. They just seem to alternate with, like, just different Australian accents. I guess not all. There's like a couple that are just weird, generic, sort of European person. I would have the money if it wasn't for, I don't know, like the game not registering the password and me having to do it twice and spend money twice. There's gotta be a reason it lets me up here.
I will damage this hot dog cart. A phone booth? The weather in Glissville today will be a sunny with a chance of more sun. Above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> okay, that's great. But am I an idiot for going to a payphone? Like, I was not expecting a weather report. Like, if I if that was a booth that had symbols with weather, like, you know, clouds and the sun, I wouldn't walk up to it. I'd be like, okay, yeah, I don't want to know the weather. No, I was intrigued by the phone booth because I wanted to make a phone call. Like, who the hell has heard of a phone booth that tells you the weather? So am I the idiot or is it the designer of the weather phone booth? Pay phones aren't a thing anymore. They're still a thing here. They converted most of them to Wi-Fi hotspots here. At least in Melbourne they did. Then again, maybe they've taken them down. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen one, but that's what they did with a lot of them for a while. Move to one side, small fry. This only, the only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean cut and responsible these days. <sighs> I sigh just thinking about him. Oh, it's the mouse. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. I thought she was going to kiss me. Rockhawk, the Coopinator. Chomp Country. Hammer, Bammer, and Flare. Craw Daddy. The Magic Cooper Masters. The Fuzz. The Shell Shockers. The Poker Faces. The Tiny Spinies. The Iron Adonis Twins. The Babom Squad. The Punk Rocks. The Mind Bogglers. The Handed Overs. Spike Storm. Dead Bones. The Pokey Triplets. The KP Coopers. The Goomba Brothers. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Toodaloo. Oh, it's a fancy voice. <laughs> Sorry, bub, but authorized people only be on this point. <laughs> if you're looking to see a match, head on through those main doors. Wow, totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Someone's about to catch a beating up there. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Ah. Stay down, pin cushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? <laughs> yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. <laughs> Tell you what. Do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rockhawk. <laughs> I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. <laughs> Ooh wee, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No. No one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings may as well stick to the video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah! 
Number one, baby. Rockhawk's the champ. <laughs> Wow, look, Mario. There on the champ's belt. Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, it totally is. Look at that sparkle. Gotta be a crystal star. Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that meathead's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? There you go, you and I are like totally on the same wavelength. Crack a few heads, take a few names, become a champ, and nab that belt. Oh, yeah. Let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Ooh, I'm kinda getting stoked about this. Let's go find who runs this shindig. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Us up the top. You ever watch minor league fights? I do. You sometimes find diamonds in the rough. I know, sure, we'll fire away of avoid losing in the ring. Wanna hear it? Sure. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I had a cloud in my ear. Anyway, to avoid losing, don't get in the ring. Come on, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I thought of it all on my own. No. Stop it. Shame on you. <laughs> What's that, Bob? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you'd better go meet Mr. Grubber, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. <laughs> They're guarding everything. Hot dog! There you go, free hot dog. I'm happy. Look at that hot dog, how fancy it looks. Let's go all the way. I went all the way around. Okay. <laughs> and champion may enter. <laughs> What's that? You want to be a fighter, Bob? Oh, all right, go on. Mr. Grubber's just inside. Undarnation are you, son? Who would let you in? This is Grubber's office. Yep, that's me, Grubber. And you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now, an, an athlete? Uh, you want to be a fighter? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an upcomer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't ya? Don Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. Well, 
when I was just a poor pup. I didn't give up Pokies Patoot for fancy big city ways. But then I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I've earned enough to set me up for life. You reading me here, son? Do dreams really come true even if they aren't yours exactly? Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look at those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Uh, here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. I hope I don't have to do his voice for much longer. <laughs> I'm trying something else. Okay, oh, GBA on the wall. Now, how you like this part? Uh, just feast your eyes on. Wait. Just feast your eyes, go on. This is, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight deluxe? You become a champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. Uh, uh, that's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it! Now, uh, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't one... Ain't but one world champion. Glory your way to the top and taking that belt to become the champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Would it be worth it if there were no challenge? You can see you've got the fire for it, too, part. You've got the eye of the tiger there. Dun, dun, dun. You're gonna be the champ, I can feel it. I ain't never been so unsure about the fighter in my life. Oh, uh, hey, one other thing. You got to sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your life. Just jot your name down, okay? <laughs> Best thing you've ever done, son, now you're Mario and the band Hattel. Still, I got to say, part it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're going to be the Great Gonzales. <laughs> ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that comes good around once in a lifetime. Yep, everybody will soon bow before the Great Gonzales. Do me proud, son. Well, now that we've got the business side out of the way... Jolene, can you come in here a minute, darling? I can't. <laughs> Hurry up. Yes, sir? You wish to see me? Uh, sure did, uh, hon Jolene. This is the great Gonzalez, a newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the Mariner League locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. I can stop the voice. <laughs> uh, 
Why would you want to stop this voice? It's so good. Oh my god. It doesn't hurt your vocal cords one bit. You can't even speak properly, can you? Yes. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now. You must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubber will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you just try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in. Then pick ranked match. Okay. I think Mr. Grubber was like the dude in the arena at the start, so I probably should have done the list then, but oh well. Ranked match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, eh? Huh? Here you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rules you asked the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, part. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubber sets the fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the a crowd at least once, fairly easily. If you want to satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match, or don't set up, satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to the 11th, you will get a shot at the Major League. Yep. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Come on, you got to tell me you're entertained. Tell me you are entertained. Uh, oh, this voice. Oh, oh, this voice is killing me. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, Bob. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to completely get destroyed out there. Now I have to talk to the security guard. Oh god, I have to do the voice more. <laughs> Oh, what have I committed to? Squaring off next, folks, are the Meteorite Hardheads and the Goomba Brothers. And the newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting and getting all hit up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Brothers? Uh, how are you feeling today? You ready for the fight? Ah, huh, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bunk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tiny punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Oh, diggity dang, fans! The great Gonzalez is striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Ooh. Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. 
really? Hey! Those turtle cowards! The, those chickens attacked us before the bell rang! Oh, that's it. Come on, we're not losing to punks like them. Let's waste them! Ah, uh, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie! Where's our thank you? Okay. Well, the way we appeal to the crowd at least once, if we're... Hammer! There we go. Done. Oh, they threw stuff at me. I think I can do it with normal hammer. Wait, how do you appeal to the crowd? I thought that was just like with stylish points. Yeah. The great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory like? Listen to this guy, he's like a part of the arena. I tell you what I saw just now, folks, a whooping. This kid's got great skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks, the great Gonzalez. Um, how do I appeal to the crowd? Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, I, um, I'm hoping you'll give more razzle-dazzle next time, eh? Good, I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene will give you your fight money. See ya! I earn money? Here's your fight money, four, co <laughs> four coins. Your rank will remain at 20 because you did not meet the conditions. Next fight will not be set up until you select the rank match of the terminal. How do you appeal to the crowd? Hang on, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Appeal to Crowd. It's a tactic, apparently. Oh, right. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. I've never used it. Yeah, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is ma- Oh, this guy's here, Master Crash. I thought it was a different voice. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Ms. Jolene was saying, you'd better bomb obey Mr. Grabber's conditions. If you can't clear conditions and win, you your rank won't go up, even if you win the match, bomb. Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. Right, man, anyway. This lean, mean machine here is Bandy Andy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not in it. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. 
Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will recover. It's not like a cushy bed, like in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Grrrr! Kleftor, no like friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. If you need anything, just ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square it off eventually, so good luck, man. I'm drinking water. <laughs> so, my throat stops, uh... I think if I'm gonna do that voice, I definitely need water. Much like the third voice. I thought it was going to be a limited voice thing. <laughs> like it wasn't going to be around now. But he's here. Okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> Ranked match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight. Okay, then your next opponent will be ranks 19 in the Glitz Pits, the Goomba Brothers. Now, listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Crowd loves a good tag team, and uh, they want to see your partner show their stuff too. Now, get in there and put your partner to work. I may have to give up on this voice. <laughs> uh, what do you mean you have to give up on the voice? Otherwise, I may destroy my voice. For our next battle, we have the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and... The meteorite hatheads, yep, a fight to the finish with the Goomba Brothers. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Remember, guys, we're bros. If we combine our strength, we'll ruin anybody. Get ready to battle! Alright, that wasn't too bad. I'll just towel on them. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Okay, well, I'll succeed this time. I'm not sure I'll get to finish this today. It's, it seems like this is gonna go for a while. I get for playing Lego like, Star Wars. <laughs> I get reminded that like I used to do the water voice. We got ourselves a winner. Oh. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. <laughs> See you now, Biggie. Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, there we go. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Okay, 
That jump of yours is insane. Double G money. And you have mad timing. Boy, Andy Gonzalez, fixing for a fight. Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked 18th, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I've got a date with my best gal in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. If I really have to do 18 fights, man, that's going to be a while. Yeah, 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 escort me. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. We got the merciless executioner of the great Gonzalez and the shell machines of doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Coopers. We aren't going to lose to the likes of you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. All right. Win in five turns or fewer. Well, you know, there's an easy way to do this. Um, I guess what we should be doing, hold on. Scorched Earth. Oh my god, I messed it up. <laughs> well, I mean... The Great Gonzalez is uh, tired. That's fine. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? We rock. Here's your five and your six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay. Hey, why ain't you hand out a beat down out there, man? You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Grat that is all must I've got. Figure there's something. Ah, there we go. Easy dial. Don't care. Okay, I thought for a sec it was going to prevent me from going out here. Alright. Well, it has been a few fights, but this seems like it's going to be a long section. I have to leave it here because it is late, but we'll continue this tomorrow. But I got a bit of time in. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. So we'll pick this up 
more for more night. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, or if you're watching this later as a replay, thanks for watching as well. If you do want to support the channel over on YouTube where all the VODs are, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can watch me play other things as well in the meantime if you want by clicking the videos that pop up at the end or just checking the content out in the channel. So, yeah, thanks to those that do that. It does help a lot. All right, we'll uh, do more of this next time. I can rest my voice and then I, I can do more of the dumb, stupid voice stuff that I do. <laughs> I don't know.